Hey maker, that mom with a laser here and I finally got my hands on some olive wood cutting boards and coasters. I'm so excited because the word on the street is that olive wood engraves beautifully. So this is the first time I'm gonna work with it today. I thought I'd share with you how I'm gonna go about it and I thought I'd also show you how I create a jig to make my life easier. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is create the template for the jig that I want to cut out. To do that, I'm gonna use my calipers to measure my coasters. Then I'm just gonna create a square according to those measurements. Once I have my outline, I'll go ahead and start lining it up with my image. To give myself a better visual, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a second rectangle and this will be to the size of the resin on the coaster. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my image is aligned vertically with the square. To do that, I'm going to hold down the shift key and select both my image and the square. Then I'm going to use the alignment tools up at the top to make sure that my image is aligned vertically with my square. I also want to make sure that I get this perfectly horizontal within the wood of the coaster. So I'm just going to use the pencil tool. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to draw it from the top of the coaster to what would be the top of the resin. So now that I know the dimensions of the wood, I'm going to select my image. I'll hold down the shift key, select what I drew with the pencil tool, and then use the alignment tool to get it centered. Now I can delete the extra rectangle and line and just use the array tool to make as many duplicates of this template as I need. In this case, I'm just engraving four coasters, so I'm going to create four squares. Now all that's left to do is hide my engraved image because right now I just want to cut out the template on my cardboard. So I'm going to deselect my output option for my engraving and then send over the cut. Okay, now that I've set up the template in Lightburn, now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my cardboard. I'm gonna lay it flat right here, and I'm gonna use some honeycomb pins to help hold it down, because once I cut out my template, I do not wanna move the cardboard at all. So these little guys are gonna be good at helping me keep it all in one place. Now let's go ahead and fire up the machine and cut our jig out. This step is important. I'm going to set the origin and then I'm going to take note of where I set this origin so that I can go back to it later. You can find the coordinates right on your Rita controller or in the move panel in Lightburn. Now that I've set my origin, I'm just gonna focus on my material and run my cut. Okay, now that the template is cut, I need to go ahead and set the focus for my coasters. Since my coaster is thicker than my cardboard, I need to lower the laser bed and then I can move the nozzle over the material and focus it. Whenever I engrave, I defocus about two millimeters because then I can get a smoother, cleaner engrave. If you don't recognize what I'm doing here, that's okay. Just make sure you watch my top four engraving tips video here. Now that everything is in focus, we need to get back to our original starting point. So we will either reference our notes that we took earlier or just get the position in Lightburn under the move panel. What I have done here is I have input the X and Y coordinates right where it says move to position and then I click go. Now Lightburn will direct my beam to the exact coordinates where I need it and I can begin my job. Okay, so like I said, I haven't worked with these yet, so I don't know my go-to settings. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna do a test on the back with um, with my logo. And that way I'll have an idea if I like the settings that I wanna use for this. If I don't, then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll engrave my logo or my website again on the back of another one until I get my settings down. So let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, so that is looking good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these settings put all my coasters in and engrave the actual image. Check it out Maker, it turned out pretty awesome, but I know we covered a lot of steps, so I wanna pause here and do a recap before we move forward. Step one, we took our cardboard and we pinned it down so that it wouldn't move. Step two, we went to our origin and we made sure to take note of it so we could get back to it later. Step three, we focused on our material and step four, we cut out our template. Once the template was ready, it was time to go ahead and prep the material. So step one, I put the coasters into the jig. Step two, I lowered the laser bed. Step three, I moved the laser over the material so that I could set the focus. And step four, we used our notes to get back to where we initially started and our original origin. 
This way, the coasters and the jig are all lined up and ready to go. Now let's finish our cutting board. You know what? That felt like a lot of steps. So I went ahead and I typed it up for you. This way you can print it out and have it ready just to remind you what you need to do the next time you want to make a jig. Just click on the link below. Well, maker, we did it. We created our jig, we got perfect alignment on our coasters, and we engraved our cutting board. All in all, I'd say it's been a pretty productive day. I hope the information in this tutorial was helpful. If you don't follow me on social media, please do so, and I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with a Laser! Mm -hmm.